What to do if you can't quit an addiction after trying? The first thing to do is to accept that this is very, very common. This is a common thread amongst all addictions. That it is very hard to quit and it takes a lot of effort. Um, the first thing to do is to take solace and realize that you're not alone. There are other people who are going through the same thing. The next step is to connect with these people. By being with others, it seems to just help take the edge off, takes the stress off. We don't feel so much shame and guilt and embarrassment when we're immersed in a group of other people who are going through the same thing. So it's empowering. Um, <clears throat> this can take place in a, in a variety of settings. Um, this can take place in a 12-step group like AA or NA or Cocaine Anonymous, Gambling Anonymous. Um, this can take place in a rehab. Uh, this is where rehab really offers a lot more. 12-step um, groups can be helpful, but alone it can be, there's less success because the lifestyle changes aren't, uh, that are suggested in 12 steps uh, are not fully comprehensive. So some of the steps are excellent, uh, particularly identifying what my weaknesses are and trying to prove upon them, identifying which people I've hurt before and trying to make amends to them. Um, trying to use other techniques uh, of coping with stress like meditation and prayer, mindfulness. These are all things from the 12-step groups that are helpful, but in my opinion, a, a rehab will provide you with a lot more information. It also gives you an opportunity to be shielded from the stresses of life, to be away from it all, and to, co to just to focus on yourself. And the duration of the rehab itself Unfortunately, some of them are only three weeks to four weeks long, um, but those are not as, as helpful, I find, as a rehab that is more like two months uh, or even six months. The reason why is because we need to learn to live our lives and cope with stresses without relying on our crutches, whatever drug or substance this may be. Um, we can learn and rehab the various techniques of identifying what those stresses are in my life, techniques of learning how to be open with other people and communicate. Expressing myself also helps take the edge off. Uh, relapse pre prevention techniques. This is being aware of my own thinking, being aware of what triggers me and to learn how to cope with these triggers in real time. And eventually you learn techniques of just writing it out and it lasts typically less than a, a minute. These are just some examples I want to illustrate to you of techniques that you can learn in rehab that are not available in a 12-step group. Um, also learning how to substitute uh, the time spent towards using drugs with, with healthy activities. So things like recreation, uh, entertainment things, le le leisure activities, hobbies, uh, time with other people, volunteering as well. Uh, speaking out about addiction. All of the above helps connect us with others and it takes us out of the isolation that is so much of a part of an active addiction. <clears throat> so, so to summarize, if you can't quit and you've identified that you may have an addiction, realize you're not alone. There's plenty of people out there going through the same thing. <clears throat> addiction is a very common illness that, that crosses all socioeconomic boundaries and there are other people out there who are trying to get help for themselves as well. The important part is to get connected with them, whether it's in a 12-step group, but more importantly a rehab, whereas in rehab you can learn the new techniques that help ensure an enduring recovery. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it in the comment box below. Thanks. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call. Thank mm -hmm. you.